Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for taking the time to join us this morning for the live Optum webinar. Appreciate your time and effort for joining this session. Um, please, my name is Reinhard Janssen van Rensburg. Uh, I'll be joined by Raylene, um, assisting me with the Q&A afterwards. So if you've got any questions, please feel free to post those questions on the Q&A option available on the webinar platform. And then, yes, um, please feel free. Anything related to how the products can be used in your practice, um, and then we'll gladly get to those after the presentation. I'll start off with going through the group um, and what services the group offer before I go into specific new pay division products. Um, so, yes. We are headed up by uh, Tetu Nyati as the group CEO or group chief executive. Next slide, please. Under the Byte Secure Transaction Solutions, uh, we head up by Johan Gladly. Next slide, please. As a group, our one strategy is to, we want to deliver innovation that matters. So spending time and effort into things that change your lives and our lives, business lives on a daily, on a daily basis. Our vision is to be the leading technology solutions provider. And typically the segments we operate in uh, include your smart internet of things, managed services, digital transformation, as well as your fintech and health tech industries. Next slide, please. Some fun facts and figures. We were founded in 1965, currently operating on four continents, Africa, Asia, Europe, and Australia. We have over 8,000 employees globally, with over 25,000 enterprise customers and 13 strategic partners. Within South Africa, we service about 13,500 ATMs every month. We have Africa's largest mission critical communications network. There's about 700,000 um, NetStar vehicle subscribers. We are the largest Xerox global partner. And there's about 10,000 doctors, GPs that um, use the Altron switch system. And on average, we process about 76 billion transactions per annum in the retail and microfinance space. Next slide, please. Some of our strategic partners include IBM, the NCR logo you would have seen on some ATMs out in the market, Xerox, Huawei, uh, Amazon. Next slide. Some of our key customers in the insurance segments include your old mutual, Sunlum, and the transport and fleet management. There's Patco, Transnet, telecommunications. You've got Vodacom, MTN. Some of you in the Optum space might now be familiar with the customers under the healthcare space, which is your best med, prof med, mediclinic, and empath. Under mining, we also service customers such as Sasol, Ango Platinum, and the multimedia, there's NASPERS, SABC, and MultiChoice. Next slide. Under the public sector, we've got um, Hating Provincial Government, Limpopo, SARS, National Treasury, under retail, uh, ShopRite, Pick and Pay, Woolworths, Edcon, Coke, Fushini, all the major banks in the country under finance, and under agriculture, there's Ilovo, Sapi, and Tongard Hewlett. Uh, next slide, please. Right, so within the group, under Smart Internet of Things, um, NetStar, as I mentioned, uh, they are now also pioneered vehicle recovery technology and provide insurance telematics and fleet management and data analytics. Under the health tech and fintech, um, there's Ultron Byte Secure Transaction Solutions, typically providing health tech and fintech and cyber tech solutions. Process in excess of 1 billion rands worth of collections every month. Um, that equates to about 6.7 million transactions a month. Next slide, please. Under digital transformation, we've got Ultron Carabina specialize in cloud computing and data analytics. Under Altron Nexus, uh, they are the leading smart city solutions and broadband infrastructure providers. Under Bytes Technology UK, typically specializing in software and cloud, um, software and cloud specialists in commercial and public sector. 
and under the Pipe Systems integration uh, is an end-to-end -end ICT service provider, um, specializing in the consulting and implementation and outsourced services. Next slide, please. Under managed services, uh, the largest Xerox partner providing integrated print managed services. Under bytes managed solutions, there's hardware and software technologies in the financial and retail and petroleum sectors. There's, like I mentioned there, uh, about 13,500 ATMs serviced every month and about, say, 260,000 retail devices out in the market. And under Bytes People Solutions, these are now the call centers that we run on behalf of some of the customers, such as Vodacom, DSTV, and these guys. Next slide. Under Altron Arrow, um, they assist in the distribution of electronic components uh, through Global Arrow Electronics. And on Altron Rest of Africa, currently operating in 22 countries uh, with the assistance of our 46 partners. Thank you, next slide. So that's it in terms of the group. I just thought it's important to give everyone a bit of background as to where the group, which segments the group operate in, and it might give you a better understanding of what our capabilities are for customers out there and where we can typically assist you with customized solutions. On the new pay side, Right, so specific for the Optoms, we've mentioned only a few products that we feel and believe can truly make a difference in your practice. So I'll be focusing on those products specifically, um, and I assume this is where most of the questions will probably come in as well. So please make use of the opportunity to ask those questions. Authenticated products. Now that's exactly what the name entails. It's authenticated via a card and PIN or by some or other electronic method. So it's not a typical debit order where a customer just signs a piece of paper and you then go and load the debit order electronically. So ADO means authenticated early debit order. It runs early morning, straight after the credit run. New paid debit check um, is a new type of debit order recently introduced, and that is electronically confirmed debit order. So that can be via USSD, via an online banking app, um, also via a card and PIN or via an ATM. New pay point of sale is your typical debit card, credit card facility as you know it. And new pay EPV is an electronic prepaid voucher. So we have all of these services on a single device, giving you multiple payment options and obviously saving you costs. You don't need to have separate devices for separate services. Typically some of the use cases for ADO, it's very big in the microfinance sector. In the medical space for patient liable payments, in the insurance sector for monthly policy collections, paying your school fees, property rentals, private security, for point of sale specifically mainly retail, fast foods, uh, guest houses, lodges, hotels, <clears throat> quite big in the health and beauty sector as well with your salons and, and um, beauty, beauty salons out there, the motor segment, your repairs, maintenance, Next slide, please. Some device options. We have fixed devices. Those are typically the ones that now operate either on your own internet connectivity in the store or with the radio pad. <clears throat> the mobile devices are ones with their own onboard communication, so that they've got a SIM and 3G capability. On the far right hand side, you'll see a Bluetooth device, which is now linked via a app on your phone and you can transact that way. Next slide, please. <clears throat> Some of the main features for point of sale is the fact that it can accept all debit cards and credit cards. We can link American Express, Diners, Edcorn, and Fleet House accounts to your, to your device. These transactions are real time, so you know there and then whether or not it's successful or not. Uh, depending on the account balance, um, it's obviously only successful if there's funds available in the account. And these devices bank daily, ensure that you get frequent and daily settlements. Online reporting, uh, it's very efficient, and I think this is where our main differentiation between us and the banks lie, is the fact that you can log on immediately there and then to see whether or not your transaction was successful, what's the reasoning behind the failure codes, what do those failure codes mean if it did uh, fail for some other reason, 
the fact that there's a reference fields available. So you can actually now identify your patients or your customers online by making use of the reference capability on the device. So you can say patient 1234 has paid 500 Rand towards his lenses or his new, his new specs. And yeah, and it's easy for the finance department to do the reconciliations. You can manage your refund transactions uh, via the online platform as well. Another main feature is the fact that we have full integration capabilities on our points of sale system. What this means is that instead of now having to manually enter 500 Rand debit card, credit card, and the customer puts in a spin, your own backend system that has all the customer's information that knows the amount payable can send an instruction to the device that says 500 Rand, swipe your card, put in your PIN, which helps a lot with finger errors and daily recons. Next slide, please. Ada, where we believe the main difference for Optoms is going to come in, and this is something you can use to assist more customers in the market. You can use this product to increase your customer base, increase your turnover. So some of the advantages and benefits, and I'll get into, into detail now, now as to exactly how you can use the product in your practice. But typically you can now, the fact that it's authenticated means it cannot be disputed. Dispute means we've all had some of these 99 Rand debit orders going off our account at some other point. And we had to go into the bank and say, listen, I do not know who are these people that took my money. Please dispute the debit order. And if you had multiple debit orders, the bank would typically reverse all those debit orders. This on ADO cannot be done. So once the transaction is successful and the money was paid into your account, that's it. It stays there. So you can see now how this can reduce your risk um, in, in that space. It runs early morning, like I said, straight after the credit run. It can be tracked for multiple days. Now, this is key in any business, in anyone trying to manage their collections. The fact that the debit order does not just hit the account once. What if this person gets paid the following day? There was an issue with the with the salary payment, and now you already process the debit order. With ADO, we can run the debit order for multiple days, which means that you've got the best possible opportunity to get your funds, even if it does get paid on a Saturday or Sunday, depending on the bank, that debit order will run. It's immediately a type of account verification where with a typical debit order, a customer would give you his account number, you would go and load that debit order, on the day of presentment, you realize, oh, um, <laughs> this is the wrong account number. With ADO, because the card is swapped and the PIN is entered, immediately there's an account verification taking place. Easy maintenance and reporting via the website. So maintenance, again, is key. The fact that you can go in, you can change contractual information in terms of who the customer is, what his ID number is, um, when do you want the debit order to run, how many days you want the debit order to run, is it a monthly, weekly, bi-weekly type debit order? So you can see now how we're putting you in control to make sure you get the best possible opportunity to receive your funds from the customer. Uh, again, full integration is available, which makes it quite easy as well, as you have all the customer information already on your own backend system. So your system can communicate through to NewPay. If you change the date on your system for the debit order, it can communicate to NewPay and NewPay will change the date on our site to present it accordingly. Typically, some rules regarding ADA, because the customer swiped his card and put in his PIN, you cannot go and change the amount. If the card was swiped for 500 Rand for three installments, you're going to have to either cancel or reload it if you need to change that amount. Don't get confused between a dispute and stopping a debit order. A dispute, as I said, funds can be paid back to the consumer. So on ADO, the debit order can be stopped if and when a first debit order did process. Although you are not in a high risk industry and I don't typically see this to be a problem in your segment. Um, and then ADO will be replaced with DebitCheck and I'll go into that a bit later sometime in July 2021. Next slide, please. Debit check. Right, so this is a new platform that was introduced to give consumers as well as merchants out there a lot more flexibility in, in terms of processing debit orders. Um, 
as I mentioned earlier, the fact that we've all probably had some of these 99 rand debit orders process. The Reserve Bank mandated the banks that we need to now have most of the debit orders in this country processed via some other authenticated method, which will clean up the banking system. So that being said, there's different types of debit check transactions. We at Newpay refer to it as a TT1, TT2, and TT3. That means transaction type 1, transaction type 2, and transaction type 3. A TT1 can be a real-time transaction where you enter all the consumer's details on the online platform, you send a request for approval, and the system will now, depending on the customer's bank, either via USSD, request the customer to authenticate, or via an online banking app. If it's a TT3, it's done via card and PIN. So you can now see how the replacement for ADO is done by a debit check TT3. Same process, card and PIN is entered, and that's where the transaction gets authenticated. Obviously now with multiple authentication options, it's an advantage. You also have flexible date and frequency selections. So date can be the 25th and the frequency can be monthly or it can be weekly. So you can now decide, depending on your contractual agreement with the customer, if these debit orders are going to go off weekly, monthly or bi-weekly to fit in with the customer's payment frequency. Flexible mandate types. So a mandate is the instruction from where it's the agreement between you and the customer and uh, the bank that the debit order will be processed on a certain date and it was approved by the customer. So a fixed mandate, it's 500 rand a month for three months, that's fixed. A usage-based mandate, typically your cell phone or DSTV for that matter, depending if you make use of any other additional services, you build for that. And variable can be uh, fixed with annual 10% increase. It might be that you've also on the Vodacom side used extra data or you made use of any other services so they can adapt the mandate accordingly. Multiple tracking days. As I mentioned, you can hunt the account for multiple days to ensure you get the best possible opportunity to get your money. It is also a type of account verification because the account holder needs to log in and approve this debit order. This will obviously now assist with easy maintenance and reporting via the website. Again, you can go in and manage those transactions. Um, this will definitely assist in improving your actual collection rates. Not having cash in your store will greatly reduce your risk of having cash at hand. Um, not having to go and deposit the cash also has reduced operational costs. And the main benefit is the fact that the full service and reporting and integration capabilities are there as well, which means that the quality of data is clean and clear and it makes your day to day reconciliations and monthly reconciliations so much easier. Next slide, please. So in summary, there's authenticated products which consist of ADO, uh, debit check, point of sale, and EPV. Typically, those are all on a single device. Your non-authenticated products. So I'm going to go into some products that you've not, haven't discussed yet, but at least you might be familiar with it. Um, so Newpay Nado is also a non-authenticated early debit order. So it runs early morning, but the main difference being there's no card and PIN involved. It is done via a contractual mandate between the merchant and the account holder. MPS and two-day debits and SSVs are typically your debit orders that now process for your car, your home loan, your DSTV, your Vodacom, any type of subscription services. That's the most frequently used debit order in this country and something that most of us should be familiar with. We also have credit card or batch link debit orders. Some of our other products include e-commerce, which is a payment portal. Uh, I'm sure some of you have already ordered some sandwiches or platters from Sandwich Baron. If you log into their website and you use and you order something online, they process via our e-commerce portal. And new card, which is a cash disbursement tool. So instead of having cash in your store uh, to buy your coffee, tea, day-to-day -day petty cash, you can actually have a card, issue it and load funds onto the card. And this card can now be used for day-to-day -day purchases in the store. Uh, can be swiped on any point of sale device within the country. 
and there's also reporting available on that. Next slide, please. So, benefits to your practice and how can these products now be used in your day-to-day -day operation? So, the fact that you now have more than one payment method available to a customer means that you can now diversify your, your segments. You can go, in, go and help customers you could not previously help. Um, and this will result in increased turnover. Um, a typical scenario might be that I've got medical aid, but I only have 3,000 Rand available, but I need to pay 5,000 Rand towards my new glasses. So medical aid process approved 3,000 Rand. Now there's a 2,000 Rand shortfall. Do I lose this customer or do I give him the option to make use of an extended payment platform? So typically what I would suggest here is then an ADO transaction for 500 Rand over four months, or depending on what the customer wants, maybe two debit orders of 1,000 Rand. And then once you've received 80% of your money or 90% of your money via the medical aid and the first two or three debit orders is processed, you can now send in the, uh, the lenses to be, to be manufactured. Customers already paid 80, 90%. Why will he now go and stop and cancel his debit order? So yes, typically your non-medical aid customers, so there's people out there with no medical aids whatsoever, and typically they are not serviced in the segment. Um, they don't have the ability to go and pay five or 10,000 Rand for a new set of glasses. Now all of a sudden you can open yourself up for this market segment and offer services to these customers. So um, me as a customer can either go to you or someone else that offers this. Your general collection on extended payment terms, so immediately it's convenient for the customer. You can sit and negotiate a term that's convenient for the customer and for yourself. This creates an improved customer experience. In this trying times, we've got tap and go functionality available via the Bluebird terminals as well. Um, obviously now the reduced risk by moving cash on the premises. Your improved daily and monthly finance reconciliations via the online reporting. So, I'm going to get back. This is for me actually very, very important. And anyone that deals with <laughs> the finance department and that is in, in whose responsibility it, it is on a monthly basis to make sure all payments are received, to do bank reconciliations, work on multiple spreadsheets and admin systems, it becomes quite a nightmare. So with our reporting system, website is so user friendly. The fact that you can allocate a, a, a reference field to every single transaction means that whoever does the recons with our reporting can go in immediately and say, customer A is 80% paid, customer B didn't pay, let's do a date change, let's do a resubmission. Um, and you can allocate those payments on your backend system immediately. So it, it really, this is also actually a cost saving factor uh, and a time saving factor in your practice. Um, the fact that you can expand your target market if you want to sell um, high-end sunglasses or any of your services online. We can offer you an e-commerce portal, as I said. Um, your ADO and TT3 can be used to supplement the potential loss of income uh, from Edcon credit. So I'll go through a quick email that we received from Edcon as well. There's a lot of uncertainty in the market at this stage around Edcon. So I can just share with you what I have at this stage. And client payment allocation via the reference field enabled for more sufficient recons. You see, I got a bit carried away there. I'm quite excited about that point because I truly believe that's what makes the difference for, for most people out there. Next slide, please. So this is an email uh, we received on the 7th of July from Edcom. Uh, we have not received any communication since then. We will follow up with them again shortly, but I'm just going to read it out for you. So. Those of you out there in the market that do um, have or that do make use of Edcon Merchant Services at this stage will at least know what's happening. RCS will now take over the management of this sector from, excuse me, from our team within the next three weeks. A letter will be sent out to all merchants advising them of this change and the opportunity for them to opt in or out. This letter will essentially be accompanied by a survey link to gauge the interest of the merchant to move to an, over as an RCS client. As RCS will now be paying merchants from August, they will essentially need to sign a new agreement with RCS. I unfortunately don't have much more info on what happens if they opt out. 
This will likely be outlined directly to the merchants within the letters and links. In terms of an onboarding new merchants going forward, this will obviously happen directly with RCS. And, and yeah, basically asking that we should just give you guys the head up that heads up that you will be receiving a letter. Right, next slide. I think we're now going into the Q and A's. Um, Raylene, do we have any questions from customers? Um, hi, Raylene. No, we don't have any questions. Great stuff. Thank you so much, Ray. Um, I would like to give the opportunity if you have any questions or if you would like to engage with us offline, uh, please make use of the telephone number for the call center, which is 011-617-1750. And our trained consultants will assist you and pass you on to one of the sales consultants to set up a meeting with you. You can also make use of the info at newpay.co.za or sales at newpay.co.za email address for any queries and we'll gladly get back to you. So seeing that there's no questions, we'll finish off with a short video, which is basically going to touch on the products I mentioned and some other features. Thank you for your time. I really appreciate it. And we hope to hear from you soon. Millions of transactions are processed daily in South Africa using debit and credit cards and online payment gateways. With this trend set to gain momentum in the future, imagine a payment solution that offers you more. More possibilities, more opportunities, more efficiency. With over 20 years experience in the industry, NewPay continues to offer seamless integrated payment solutions to more than 7,000 customers. NewPay and our integrated partners understand your business model. We understand that your time is precious. NewPay's experience within the POS industry affords you access to our knowledge and expertise, which enables us to assist you with a comprehensive set of value-added products and services that include our POS solutions with safe and secure real-time debit and credit card facilities. We have a variety of terminals and integrated solutions available that will assist in streamlining your business. Our integrated solutions allow for efficient time management, assisting you in simplifying your processes, growing your bottom line, and enhancing the overall customer experience. Extend your payment options further with future data debit orders via a pass terminal. This debit order transaction is non-disputable due to card and PIN being present for authorization. The transaction is loaded on the same as terminal. NewPay is the only service provider in the country that could offer this facility. This type of transaction is ideal for lay buyers, monthly payments and recurring monthly service fee debits. We can help you to improve your online presence through application-driven reporting and management tools, e-commerce payment portals. We offer cloud solutions with centralized and remote reporting options through our new pay payment portals. This allows for integration with a wide variety of integrated partner systems. NewPay forms part of the Ultron group of companies, a leader within the ICT sector. Being part of the Ultron group allows us to give our clients access to a variety of solutions, including printing hardware, hosting options, data security, Copy Act compliance, encryption of data, and skills development, to name but a few. If you have a dream for your business, we have the solution. New Pay, the future is now.